Hello, everybody. Today we're gonna see how I draw old toilet paper head Dengar from Star Wars. Just so you know, there's a coloring book that you can get through Amazon. Just follow the link in my description and you can get a coloring book to show me how you color to how I draw. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpies. So if you want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. That's right, old toilet paper head. I've always, you know, for the longest time, I was not a fan of Bull Dengar. I was like, oh, why? Why did they put toilet paper on his head and make him into a body a bodyguard, a bounty hunter? I, I didn't get it, you know. But the more I, I've I've aged and gotten older and said, you know what? He's pretty cool. I like him. He's he's kind of the the rough and tumble bad guy. The the uh, the scoundrel, you know, the real, real crook, the real sleazy bounty hunter. That's how I feel. That's what I think of him. Um, let me turn this leg back a little bit. I kind of had it sticking out, but I think I think back this way, a little bit more dynamic. Um, but I, yeah, I don't know. There's something about him. And it, what's funny is I say that, but I'm basing that on purely nothing but seeing him over the years because he's not a character that's been used or he's not in any shows or you know i think he was in like what battlefront or something like that um a couple of video game skins basically is what i'm trying to say but that's it you know there hasn't been when well, no, i take it back he was and maybe this is what i'm basing it on he was in some of the uh um comic books uh, there was a really good run that came out not too long ago, or maybe it was a while back, and, and I'm just old and, and have no idea that it's been that long. But there was a really good series where he was fighting Chewbacca. I can't, I can't remember what it was right now, but it was really, really good. And uh, I, I'm kind of basing it on that, too, that, that that's the, uh, the roughness of him, you know? That if he, if he was if he was not really willing, but if he was able to take on Chewbacca, and I'm not saying he won or lost, but uh, come on, it's Chewbacca. Who's gonna who's gonna win in that battle? You think? Um, you know, I he's got my respect. That he is a rough and tumble bounty hunter. That uh, is a little a little sleazy, a little dirty, a little weird, a little crazy, a little uh, uh, untrustable. I mean, they're already bounty hunters, and so they're they're already like you know, the scum of the earth, right? Or, uh, oh, I'm sorry, scum of the galaxy. They're not on Earth. They are not on Earth. Don't make that mistake. Don't be a rookie. Don't make that Star Wars rookie mistake. Uh, but uh, so speaking of that, you know, I thought it was really rude, um, and so did the, the the officer that was being talked to in in Empire Strikes Back when. The bounty hunters are introduced or shown because they're not really introduced; they're just seen. You know, um, uh, is it Piet? I can't remember who says it, but one of them turns to uh, a lieutenant and says, "We don't need their scum." And even the, even the officer was like, uh, y "Yes, sir." You know, it's like I, I don't want to be dragged into this. You are a hateful man, and I don't want to be dragged into this conversation. Uh, so. Okay, fine. And that's exactly how the guy is like, yes, sir. And goes back to his business like, okay, all right, let's, can we please talk about something else? So that's my, my funny take on, on, uh, on bounty hunter hatred. Okay, so I'm going to have him holding his gun. And so, uh. So yeah, so we're going to be able to draw certain parts of him that are, you know, used like his armor and stuff like that. And then certain parts you're not going to see. Like, unfortunately, I really wanted to draw his little uh, front cover piece, but uh, it's going to be kind of, I, I want to say not seen, but it's going to be covered up just a hair by his um, uh, blaster. 
And so that's that's part of the struggle. And you know what? I may I've been thinking about this lately too. Is like what else can I offer you guys? Somebody was asking about these sketches because they wanted to see the sketch, and I said, well, you know, I. I got to think of something, a way to show you guys more sketches because I know this is all for me, right? But some people want to see it. They want to see how I do it. So what I may end up doing, I was thinking about drawing more dynamic uh, poses. And maybe what I might end up doing, like maybe doing a live video of, of characters. See, a lot of times I like to do the characters in certain positions like this because I want you to be able to see them. And so I can't cover stuff up. I want it to be... You know, uh, in other words, I don't want to draw him flipping over on his back and then you can't see any of the cool features on the front. That's that's kind of an exaggeration, but that's kind of what I'm talking about, that I'm, I'm picking positions that you can see, you know, the, uh, the, the dynamics of each, or, or the specifics of each character, you know, the why we're drawing them, you know? So, I'm thinking about... Uh, drawing different characters, maybe not specifically like Dengar and stuff like that, but taking a Saturday and maybe doing live videos of, of more drawing more dynamic characters and more dynamic positions so we can experiment with sketches and stuff like that and you can see me sketch and, and uh, figure out positioning and stuff like that. So I may end up doing that. I'm trying to figure out where to take this, this channel. And uh, that may be one of the, the, the places I take it, is a different, um, what do you call it, uh, like um, a different uh, uh, pose channel, is that the right word I'm looking for? Where it can take some more dynamic poses, stuff like that. So that, that might be a thing, that might be where I'm going to take it, we'll see. The other thing is, too, I'm kind of making this up. Let's go to there. I'm going to bring it down right there. That's going to be the thickness of it. I'm making it up, but I'm not. Like it's. I know these are all based on like real military weapons, so I kind of have to get it looking close, right? But not too... I'm not too worried about it. Oh, he's got another gun. I forgot about that. Okay, I think I'm good with the sketch. Because uh, that's got enough place in certain places that I know where I'm going to put everything. And we can go off here. Let me make sure I'm not off. Barely. Barely. Maybe we should move just a little bit. Hang on. Hang on. There we go. Back on. Okay, so let me erase some of these sketch lines. And then we'll get going. Because what I want to do is I want my Sharpie to stand out, not my pencil line. So. The first few lines I put down, those are my sketch lines. Those I was just trying to find placement, right? After that, I got more confident and I started pressing a little bit harder and those are my confidence lines. What I'm erasing now are the sketch lines and keeping confidence because the first lines are so faint, they're easy to erase. The confidence lines are a little harder to erase and I want that because I want to be able to see where we're going, right? So it's kind of how you live your life. You get rid of your sketchiness and you keep your confidence. That's what we're doing. Okay, I think I've got enough gone that I can see where we're going, but it won't it won't overtake the Sharpie. So I say we welcome everybody that skipped and get going. <laughs> Couldn't pick it up. Welcome skippers, welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to do a different drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm gonna be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen, mostly the fine point, but the pen's a little finer than the fine point. It can find things that a fine point can't quite find. Sketch the entire thing out. I've erased a majority of it, but I'm gonna jump in with my Sharpie fine point. I'm sorry my Sharpie pen because I can control the line width much better and uh, also don't forget if you got a request or you're looking for stuff check out the playlist uh, I'm gonna try to put them up here and stuff like that uh, for Star Wars to see if it's what he wants in there or just check out any playlist for certain items and see if I've done it because I've done quite a few all right so I'm just gonna jump right in I've got his head turned a little bit like this so his eyes are gonna be kind of like this so I'm gonna go ahead and draw his old droopy toilet paper head eyes like this Perfect. Okay, now this was kind of covered up by the toilet paper. Okay, I know it's not toilet paper, but that's what we've always called him when we were little kids because it looked like he had toilet paper wrapped over his head. Uh, but this one's covered up a little bit, so I'm going to draw the retina, the color part like this, the 
other one like this, but I'm gonna stop because I, again, like I said, I want it kind of covered up. I'm gonna go ahead and just do it like this. That's the edge, all right? Now, for the pupil, I'm just gonna dab it just a little bit because uh, I can't do too much in here because of the size. Once I get down to this size, the Sharpies will bleed, so I gotta be careful where I'm coming in. And so that also means, yeah, I don't do uh, the bottom of the eye. I just kind of come in like this, imply the bottom, and I'll let color take care of the rest. And that's it, so that's good for me. So his eyebrows are kind of bushy and all covered up by the bandages, so I'm not really gonna worry about them. I'll start to draw some of it over here like this. That way, again, it'll kind of give me placement of where things are gonna go, okay? Again, it's just a start-stop point is really basically what it is. So I'm gonna draw him a big old broken nose. Something like this. And if you wanna hear my theories about uh, old toilet paper head, um, go to the sketch, go check out that. It's, it's uh, you know, it's fun to listen to the, 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 the ideas and, and the things that went into the, the the making of, of this uh, rough beat up man. <laughs> I said obviously worse things about him in the sketch, so if you wanna hear it, go over there. Um, okay, so yeah, I'm not gonna worry about his eyebrows either. I just, uh, maybe I'll just do something kinda like this, and then I'm gonna do more with color because again, he's a, he's a real beat up old guy, you know? He's got a scar down his face I wanna draw, but I'm not going to, I'm gonna do that with color like the, the lines in his face that kind of did like this. Just kind of a frowny, droopy, uh, I want to say messed up head, but yeah, he has kind of bandaged old, old sourpuss head, you know? All right, so he does have it kind of locked in over here. There's the bottom of it. And I'm doing all this with the small Sharpie because when I switch over to that, it's a huge difference in line width, but I want the bandages, I want this headpiece to be light and subtle because it's mostly white, right? It's it's uh, <laughs> it's the toilet paper, it's the bandage stuff, you know? And uh, I just want it to be mostly white and not stand out with super, super black lines. But now I'm on the edge, I'll show you what else I do. Um, I start to get thicker on the outsides because again, this is super thick. And when we get there, you're gonna see a huge difference. So I wanna kind of prepare for it and make it look uh, kind of the same. I want it to, to match, you know? You'll see, just watch. And again, if you're working with pencil, you don't have to do this. This is just me and the way I like to draw, you know, just to kind of give it that, that textured look um, with the, the uh, Sharpies. Especially if you're working with pencil. If you're working with pencil, you don't really have to do this at all. I may look even weirder, you know? So I'm gonna do some of the bandages, some of the the lines, but I think that's all I want to do because anything else I can do with color to make it nice and subtle. Sharpies aren't subtle, Sharpies scream. Um, Sharpies and Texas, they never whisper. Yes, I'm from Texas, if that uh, doesn't clue you in. All right. That's what I say is like Sharpies, they, they're, they're very, they're very, they scream at you. They're not subtle. They're like, oh, we're gonna be real quiet. No, Sharpies say, hey, we're here. I'm drawing a line. So if you wanna do something like the features of the face, you have to figure out what you want super loud and what you want super subtle and quiet, right? All right, so I think I'm done with uh, what I want to do for his head. Yeah, okay, so what I always tell you is draw what's in front and then draw what's behind. His gun is in front of everything, so I kind of have to draw that first. So, let's get down to the gun and then we can draw what's behind it. So, I'm gonna draw the rest of his his uh, bandage. See how thick that is? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I want to match the, uh, the edge of this um, uh, look for him. Okay? Okay, so, uh, Again, the armor is going to come down here. What I can do for you is at least show you the edge of his body. So I'm going to do like his armor like this. This one's going to come up and do that because it's got that little strap thing that goes over it, right? We'll go ahead and do that just to show you. Ah, it's going to hit the gun there, so I don't want to do it there. His body is kind of turned like this. The shoulder's up a little higher. So 
It's gonna put a shoulder here, and again, that shoulder uh, pad, I guess, armor piece is gonna come down to about right there. I'm gonna stop there because now I want the gun to be drawn. Now, it's gonna look a little strange because I got this arm uh, hunched up to hold the gun, and so I'm drawing the handle like this, and then I'm gonna draw the edges of it like that. Sorry, I've got to flip back and forth for, for pictures of, of what it might look like because I said this before that I'm not too worried about details. I'm just trying to make it look like a space gun going straight across, right? So I'm going to do this and I'm going to add like, like what might be the top, stuff like that. His hand's going to be holding it too, so uh, I'm just going to go straight across and just do stuff like that just to kind of say that's where there's bumps and adds, not adds, and stuff added on that are the manufactured parts of the gun, okay? So, since that's done, since I've got that there, I'm gonna go ahead and draw his armor piece like this. Draw the edge of this piece of armor. This one's coming down like we did there, and gonna come like that. So that's all you can see above the gun, okay? Everything else is back behind it. So, this is where it's gonna get a little tricky, but just hear me out. We're gonna draw the bottom of the gun, and then his, his, uh, um, uh, uh, <laughs> his armor, his forearm armor, forearm shirt uh, is going to be right there. So I'm going to draw the his his glove edge right there. So the forearm, I'm going to come out here and do this. A nice hard edge because that's uh, it's metal, you know. And we're going to go ahead and give it an edge like this. And I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit of like manufactured uh, plating, something like this. And we'll do another edge like this. Again, just to give it that hard edged look, right? Soft, hard, soft, hard. And as a matter of fact, we'll give this a little edge like that just to give it that manufactured look. Now, underneath all this is a cloth uh, suit. So I'm gonna draw his elbow down like this, come back over here. So it looks a little stubby, but he's got it raised up to hold the gun up. That's, that's what I was going for, a, a raised uh, enforced position because he's having to hold up uh, such a heavy weapon. Now, he's got gloves with a big old flare like this, so it's gonna come back down to his wrist. Same thing like that. It's holding the gun, so we're pretty much just seeing this. He's holding the handle, then the trigger. Thumbs back behind. So, I'm just gonna come in here and do this. And then the trigger finger is gonna go up like that. And there, because the rest of it, underneath there. Now, I'm gonna draw the knuckles like that. That way it shows it's up there. And again, because it's a glove, I wanna give it a little bit of a you know, a little, little rough and tumble, uh, bent used look. Because, it, like I said, it's a glove. It's, it's, it's well worn and, and he's a big old bad bounty hunter. It's been through a lot. All right, is this starting to make sense now that we gotta draw what's in front, then we can draw what's behind? So, let me get back to a close, a uh, rough picture of his gun so I can get an idea of what it might look like. And I'm gonna draw a little bit in there, the handle's coming down through here like this, coming back up to the trigger. There's the edge. And I'll straighten this out just a little bit, but I'm gonna do more with the Sharpie in a second. I'm just trying to differentiate the edge of the gun to the edge of his hand, okay? All right, so uh, again, I'm just kind of making it up going across. So if I'm gonna say if it was a manufactured piece, we're gonna do something like this. And his hand is holding the other end, so we gotta make sure I leave room for the hand. So I'm gonna come up here, and draw the bottom of this piece right here, but I want his hand holding this, so, again, bear with me, I'm gonna be drawing the hand. And there's, here's the edge right there, the thumb is going under. So here's his, his uh, index finger, his middle finger, ring finger, and the pinky all kind of curled up like, let me go ahead and draw that glove too, like we did right there, the flared out extra, uh, like a Lone Ranger glove or something, you know? Boy, I'm, I'm dating myself by saying the Lone Ranger. You guys don't even know who that is, right? Well, I guess you might. I mean, everybody knows the Lone Ranger, right? Maybe? 
Okay, just playing with some knuckle lines just to kind of give you a, an idea of, of the edges. Maybe we'll do something like this just to get more knuckle lines. And some of it you can't even see. See how that's just kind of curled under? But that's okay because the whole idea is that, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's curled under. And the nice thing about it too is if you were just to draw this, that would look weird. But when the whole thing is put together, it works. You know, it, it makes sense. No one's gonna look at it and say, well, what is that? What's well, his glove? You know, it looks good. All right, so I'm gonna, again, make up some parts. Something like that. And I'm not really trying to make it 100% like the real gun. I'm getting close. So, you know, I do stuff like this just to say, okay, if this was a gun and now I'm gonna add like manufactured parts. So, I'm gonna come in here and just do like, what would it look like if someone were making this gun? I have a fun theory that I joke around with my friends about that whoever makes these weapons for the, uh, for the Empire, they are specifically trying to make them not good. Same thing with the armor, <laughs> the, the, uh, the stormtrooper armor. That's why they, they can never hit anything. That's why it shatters easily. That they're kind of like uh, uh, Gail and Erso is that, uh, you know, they're trying to sabotage. So they're selling them faulty, horrible equipment. <laughs> so anyway, the point is what I'm trying to say is I try to make it look like a manufactured piece. So it's got pieces and parts and, uh, and things that are put together to work like a, a real weapon that means it was it was it was put together and it has nubs and parts and points and uh, different things that were placed like a real manufactured piece all right And so again, I, I, I don't really try to make it look exactly 100% like, like theirs because uh, I, I kind of don't really have time for it. Like we're here to draw characters and if you want to add the extra stuff, go for it. Me, I, I, I just want to get the, the character done and you can add extra stuff all you want all day long. But I don't, wanna, I don't want you here watching me for five hours adding little greeblies, little things when you know, we could have been finished a long time ago and uh, playing video games, do whatever else you want, you know, where I I'm just here giving you the basics. And so see, same thing here. I'm not worried too much about how perfect that is. I'm going to try. That's the other thing. I'm not saying I don't care. Of course, I'm going to try, but I'm just not concerned. Let's do let's do other cool stuff, you know. All right, awesome. So there we go. We've got the front drawn. And so now we can get back to what's behind. And so his armor, he's got that big chunky piece right there. It's coming through like this, coming down. And I'm gonna draw the edge over here. All right, I'm gonna do the other edge over here. Kinda kinda comes, turns in here and comes down like that. And it's got a really cool look to it. And that's another thing I was talking about in the sketch is that I really, Wished I could have drawn all the perfect stuff to it because it's so awesome, but the gun is in the way. But that's okay because it gives us something dynamic to draw on. It's a little bit better, different, and you know, it's 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 just really cool. All right, let's. Uh, oh, I gotta draw the body because the arm is behind it. Um, well, no, I guess I did. I guess I kind of did, huh? Uh, I'm gonna draw his armor uh, tied to his back right here. So that means there's a back piece like that. There's his shirt. And there's the edge of his body. So now I'm gonna draw this arm back behind this. Uh, you know what, hang on. Before I do that, let me let me give you a little bit of detail of this front armor piece. Um, because again, it's, it's a really cool uh, armor piece. I like the look of it and I wanna just kind of accent it. Cause it's got that really cool curve to it, that cool smooth, uh, what do you call it? Um, little K2SO point, you know what I mean? It's got that cool little uh, edge to it. Okay, something like that. And it's got all these extra little greeblies and little things like that. Now, I'm not gonna draw them all, but you know, they're just, they're just really 
It's too cool not to draw. That's the problem, you know? I would like to know what this is, like who took what parts from what machine and what, you know, the way they, they, they put this stuff together. What uh, ship was this put together from? You know what I'm talking about, right? How they put Star Wars stuff together a long time ago. They took parts and pieces from uh, uh, model ships and stuff like that and just pieced them all together to make it look like it's manufactured stuff. Pretty awesome, right? Okay, so this arm is pretty much the same thing, just coming down like this. And then here's the crook of the arm, the bend down here to the elbow. And then this armor piece is only on the top of edge. So the bottom of it down here, you can't see anything. So we're gonna draw that edge. Down like this, I'm gonna draw that little extra piece up like that. And then I'm gonna draw the, the sleeve over. And I probably should have done it thin like this, but that means since I already did it thick over here, let's make this one over here thicker make them uh, um, symmetrical, I guess is the word I'm looking for. And here, because it's cloth, I'm doing uh, um, some creases and folds to show that it's, it's a bent material. Okay, so let me let me thicken this one up too, again, just to kind of match them. All right. There you go, so thick on each end. Okay, here we go. So he's got a little bit of armor underneath this armor. So he's got a belt. And armor. So let's draw the belt. I'm going to draw the middle piece like that. It's a simple, simple belt. And it's holding a couple of uh, pouches. And let's see, I'm going to draw this one too. Let's stop right there. That's where I'm going to draw the first pouch. Kind of coming over like this. And then it's got a, a big old, big old, big old uh, pouchy pouch thing like that. This one is kind of behind this leg, so you're only gonna see so much of it. Actually, let's, let's actually wait on this one. Um, like the Stormtroopers, he's got a piece in front underneath that one. And what I did there was the edge of his body. Um, let me go ahead and do this real fast so you see where we are. I draw that like pouch looking thing. Um, should probably be, <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. I'm, I'm overthinking it, I'm overthinking it. Um, but I'm gonna draw a little bit of armor for his mid piece right here. Like that. And it's gonna come down into his crotch piece. Okay. Now, uh, let me draw his, his, uh, his crotch piece hanging down right here. And come back up here. Now, um, he's got a gun, draw his legs. His uh, leg pieces are gonna be like this. His armor, basically. Like that. Again, hard-edged armor. Now, since I've done that, I can go ahead and draw the pouch like I did over here. So we're gonna say, it's hanging over like that that one and I'm just gonna add like a little corner to it just to kind of show an edge you know if not it's just gonna be a bunch of round lumps but again kind of this is kind of the idea too of like I was talking about with the hand separate it looks weird put it on top of all this stuff it makes sense it's like oh 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 oh, oh I see I see said the blind man as he took the hammer and saw um, it, it, the overall picture makes sense, and that's why stuff like this works um, when you're putting putting it together and trying to plan stuff. Okay, um, there are straps holding this stuff on together, so I'm going to draw a little strap like that, and then his leg is going to be in here. The the cloth is going to be like this, but again, because it's cloth, I like to draw wrinkles and folds for the cloth. But look, that kind of, you can't tell that that's a, a strap because it's almost the same line width as those. Uh, okay, hang on, before I go any further, let me just add this little bit of highlight right here. Come down to the edge like this. Okay, 
Um, okay, so he's got a gun on this side too, so I gotta make sure I give him a little bit of space. Uh, let's draw this leg. It's kind of underneath here a little bit, so I'm gonna come up here like this for the front, come down and curve in like that, and then I'm gonna come down for the, spa the space of it, the, the side of it, the space of it. I can't talk. I'm just trying to entertain you while I, while I draw this. Uh, okay, so for his gun, it's in a holster, so we're not seeing much besides old space holster, okay? I know it's floating, but I want to make sure I put it on top of this edge. And then all you're going to see is like, uh, let's say there's a, 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 a scope on it, and then you're going to see the handle. But again, because of the position, you're only going to see it like that. That's it, right? Now I can draw the edge of the, of the, uh, leg armor. Ugh. But see how that's just a little bit over that line? That's why I wanted to draw that first, so I can make it look like it's behind it, right? Okay, so let me draw the armor edge like I did right there. Just a little bit of, of piping. A little bit of, of highlight. Like that. And I like to do stuff like this with a smaller Sharpie because, again, it accents it. It works with it and it looks a little different. Uh, okay, so again, I'm going to thicken this up real fast. Just a thicker line. Come down here with this strap like this. Then I can draw his leg like that. Again, draw a little bit of uh, creases and folds with the cloth. And I like to do it around the joints where there's bending because it shows that you're getting a lot of uh, bends and cloth. It, it, it separates it from hard edge armor, you know? Okay, so now we got just legs, our leg armor, basically. So this one's gonna come up, come down like that. And I'm gonna do little bumps like this because he does have like some straps wrapped around his armor. So I'm just kind of accenting that there's something on top of the armor like that. Okay, so there's again cloth for his pants underneath. And let me do the straps. So I'm just gonna connect them like this. And I like to do little stuff like that just to make it look like it's on top of the edge of the material. You know, it's not just I'm not just drawing a line kind of like I did like this. You know, I want I want it to look like if this is a hard edge material, this is over that edge material, and that's why you see the edge of it bumping up, breaking the surface. It's just something I like to do. All right, so again, the, the fronts have like that, that, little, that little piping uh, design look. And I'm not cutting through the, the tape. That's one of those things that are, that are uh, over his, his armor. Got this little diamond look like that. And again, it's just something a little, a little fun, you know, just a little extra stuff to do, just to make it, you know, your own, make it come alive. All right, he's got a very simple shoe. Come down like this. Here's the edge of it, and it's got like this, this weird like closure up here, where it kind of like it wraps around like that. And it's sewn on the front and does that. It's a real simple looking shoe. And then we'll do more, more uh, like uh, um, lines and creases with color and stuff like that. All right, so same thing over here, just different angle. That's all it is. So that part's gonna come up a little bit. So we're gonna draw that edge, come up like this, come in. And again, he's got some of this stuff strapped across him. So I'm just gonna bump it, plan where those are gonna be. And then I'm gonna do two more down towards the bottom. Bump it, bump it, and the edge of the armor. And go the same way back up and kind of plan them around the same spacing. Bump, bump, just subtle, you know, like that. Go the cloth, and then like we did over there, we're just gonna come back and draw the, uh, the straps across. Try to connect them. If you don't, it's no big deal. Just letting you know that that's what I was planning. Okay, and so we're gonna do the little piping like we did right there. But again, it's the side of it, so that's all we're seeing. And then 
this on the inside is gonna be something like that. Okay. All right, so all we got left to do is the shoe, and then we're gonna color it. Okay, so same thing as crazy old foot. It's coming down like this. Like that, I just kind of did a weird little accent for that weird little strap thing like that. And then we'll say maybe it kind of comes back like this, does one of these, wraps back around, goes up. And there you go, we just gave it a little bit, of, a little bit of accent. So there you go. I say we take care of the rest with color. So that is Dengar from Star Wars. So here's how I colored it. Tell me what you think in the comments below or show me what you did in our Discord group. Just have fun and make it your own because remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw and we'll meet somewhere in between. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures on how I draw. Plus don't forget to hit that notification button for new videos.